all right welcome back to part three so this part is about the importance of keeping your circle small this is the key to having success and abundance every person that i've watched that talks about the power of manifestation how they went from the bottom to the success they've reached now they have always talked about keeping your circle small and being mindful of the people that are in your inner circle the people that you interact with the most you are who you hang around and i remember in high school one of my mentors in this scholarship program that I was in would always say if you're the smartest person in your group then you don't have the right friends there should be people in your group smarter than you there should be people in your group that are doing more than you're doing if you're the best one out of your group then you're not challenging yourself the people you surrounding yourself with aren't pushing you to be better they aren't pushing you to that next level because you're doing better than them you know iron sharpens iron so you have to be around people that are doing what you're doing or doing better than what you're doing so that you can constantly be pushed to elevate and move forward you need to have people that are in alignment with your vibration meaning the frequency that they're vibrating at is the same frequency that you're vibrating at so y'all aren't clashing y'all are flowing nicely together you want people in your life adding to your life adding knowledge to your life they're adding joy to your life positivity whatever it is that they're bringing to your life must be beneficial for you to move forward and elevate to new heights if you have people in your life that aren't in alignment they're gonna weigh you down and that's the whole point of this series is about removing what does not belong because spiritual warfare is real you're gonna constantly be being swayed by both sides so it's like what side do you get more into do you get more into things that are harmful to yourself like gossip drinking all the time partying all the time or do you give more time to positive things like yoga exercise eating healthily what are you feeding your spirit what are you feeding your soul hey, i digress that's the main point keeping your circle small the first thing you have to learn about keeping your circle small you can't take everybody with you you might be advancing at a rocket pace and they're moving at the pace of a snail it's not to say that you can't help them but you got to help yourself first it's just like in the airplane they always tell you activate your mask first before you can activate somebody else's mask if you pass out before you can even finish their mask now y'all both gone so secure yourself first so that you can help others you can't help others while you're still trying to help yourself because now y'all both just gonna be struck and everybody not meant to come with you watch the first two parts of this installment about jealous friends and clingy friends those people cannot come with you they're gonna weigh you down they either aren't working as hard they don't have the same vision as you they don't have the same drive the same ambition the same work ethic whatever the case may be you gotta keep moving forward if somebody not moving forward at the same pace as you gotta let them go nothing of what i'm saying means cut people off black people i don't want y'all to get through with this series and be like i'm cutting everybody up ah you just reevaluate how much time you spend with that person hanging out with them every weekend but they ain't really doing shit but going to the club that's probably not somebody you want to keep around you if you're trying to be a millionaire if you're trying to be 30 under 30 you know on the forbes list hang out with the person who just bought a crib hang out with the person who got their own business hang out with the person is an entrepreneur hang out with the person that works a corporate job making six figures start you know diversifying your circle because if you hanging out with the person that's doing the same thing every week what are you learning from them what are you gaining from them everybody do not have your best interest at heart i repeat that one more time everybody does not have your best interest at heart. At the end of the day, everybody gonna always put themselves first. If somebody say, hey, I can save you or I can save that person. You're gonna say, save me. What? Come on, I don't lie. You're gonna save yourself first. You gotta always remember that people are self-interested being. Even yourself. You're not to say that you're selfish, but you're gonna do what's best for you first. Also, with keeping your circle small, time is valuable. Time is money. And my money is abundant. It's a song, time is money. My money abundant. It's called Dead in Miami. But anyway, your time is valuable. Your time quite literally is money. How you're choosing to spend your time is important but most importantly who you're choosing to spend your time with is key if you spending your time with people that ain't about nothing guess what you gonna be about nothing if you choosing to spend your time with people who only just sit up and talk shit about people all day gossip complain guess what you gonna be doing but if you surround yourself with people who meditating or praying or every week they go to yoga or these people work out they take care of their bodies whatever the case is you want to surround yourself with people who are feeding their spirit one those people have higher vibrations so they are going to bring peace positivity that's what you want everybody should be striving to create peace in their life not chaos people that are living in chaotic behaviors erratic irrational behaviors erratic ways of thinking anger jealousy that is low vibrational shit right there do not be around people like that i'm telling you i quite literally mean your vibration is going to be low your frequency is not going to 
vibrate at a level that's going to elevate you to reach heights that you're working to reach. You can't reach billionaire status when you barely getting off the ground, you know what I'm saying? By keeping your circle small, you're training yourself to keep people and energy around you that's beneficial to you. When you got all these different energies that vibrating at different frequency levels, these different types of people that got all this different kind of stuff going on, they got drama, they upset, they can't keep a man, can't keep a woman, into it with they mama, into it with they baby mama, into it with they baby dad, into it with they uncle, they niece, the sister, the cousin, the brother around the corner. I don't know who they into it with. They into it with the girl at McDonald's. Mm -mm. No son, no ma'am. Them not the type of people you need to be around. Just remove those types of people from your life. The goal is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who are on the same path as you. People, like I said, that you can learn from. People that can elevate you. People who are doing better than you. That's the type of circle you want to have. And you don't need too many people for that. Because really, you need to learn to spend time with yourself, too. That's another thing that people don't know how to do. They don't know how to just be by themselves. You want to be around people who want the same things as you because then they'll push you to elevate you to get to that level because y'all working towards the same thing. And they'll help you, too. Y'all are pulling each other. So you might get something and you can share it with them or vice versa. They say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I just found out about this uh, grant that you can apply for that can help you do X, Y, Z. I think you should do it because I just got approved and now that's just free game that they just put you on because they know that you're trying to reach that same level that they're working to reach. You don't want to be around talkers. You want to be around doers because if you're around people that's doing, they gonna put a fire under your ass so that you can get up and go too. If you're around people that's just talking, you ain't gonna never get to that next level because you just around people that's just talking. That's not on that level. You want to be around people that's on that level or working actively to get to that level. So I hope you enjoyed the third installment and that is why it's important to keep your circle small. And this is about spiritual warfare. Are you choosing light? Or are you choosing dark? Which, which, which direction are you going to choose? Stay tuned for the fourth installment. Healing from a heartbreak.